A 31 mile trail across Charlotte and right through Uptown is all about connecting people and giving them more options. We told you last night at 11 though, it just got a lot more expensive to finish. $77 million. There was sticker shock during the City Council's strategic meeting. So anchor Blaine Tolleson asked if the whole project is now in trouble. This patch of woods right next to Independence Boulevard could become a pristine greenway if the Cross Charlotte Trail gets completed, but right now it is way over budget. That's a lot of mileage, so that figure doesn't surprise me at all. Dick Winters uh, advocates and for parks sure and greenways in Charlotte. He points out the Cross Charlotte Trail isn't just for recreation. It's another way to provide some relief to our congested roads and leads to a healthier community. We're talking about another part of the transportation system. But the cost to build it has ballooned by more than $40 million since it was proposed in 2014. It was something that was inherited. Larkin and so Eggleston got, got that go news along with the rest of city council last uh, night. Yeah. He says it'll take some digging to find out why, but he's willing to move forward with 31 miles of continuous trails one day running from Pineville all the way to the Cabarrus County line. We do need to go back and look and see how the estimate was so off. But I think we've also got to continue to make progress. The most difficult missing piece of the Cross Charlotte Trail is the 1.5 mile connection between Brandywine and Tyvola Roads in South Charlotte. Then there's the connection between 7th and 10th Streets near Uptown. And there's more work to do along the Blue Line and through University City. Schedule Winter says it'll only get yes, harder to yeah, build the longer the wait. Let's, let's do it now when it's less expensive. Now there is some progress with the trail. For example, in 2019, the city is expected to start buying up land here in Plaza Midwood to complete this segment of the trail. In Plaza Midwood, Blaine Tolleson, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.